the box. Where's he gone now? Hello ladies and gentle pigs, welcome back, or well, welcome if it's your first time. It is a beautiful day to be out on the bike. Now I've just been reading an old copy of a Ride Motorcycle magazine, which contained an article on Britain's best roads. And not surprisingly, one of the roads featured in said magazine was in Cornwall. But much to my surprise, there was also one in Devon. <laughs> yeah, Devon. <laughs> so, my mission and the purpose of today's and possibly several follow-up videos is to determine who has the best roads, Cornwall or Devon? Now, I think it's fairly safe to say Cornwall already has this one in the bag. We do, however, have to give Devon a chance. And that's what we're doing today. According to the magazine, the best road in Devon runs between Barnstable and Minehead. We're currently a few miles out of Kilcampton on the A39, pointing towards Barnstable, where the judging begins. And from there, the road takes us across Exmoor, through a place called Lynmouth, which is somewhere I'll probably make a stop, maybe grab a coffee, get fed and watered, before continuing on to Minehead, further up the coast. Now I think I was rather generous to give Devon a draw when it came to the cream teas. I'll put a link at the top of the screen to that, because if you haven't seen it, you don't know what you're missing. But on the subject of best roads, I'll be fighting for one-upmanship on the Cornish side. And I don't think it will be too difficult. Now what I would like is for you to tell us about your favourite ride in the comments. And if you're a YouTuber yourself, feel free to drop a link to a video of your favourite ride so we can all enjoy it. Right, what I'll do in a moment, using my editing wizardry, is speed up the journey as far as Barnstable and let the judgement begin on what, according to the magazine, is Devon's best road. Yes, welcome ladies and gentle pigs to the battle of the best roads, Cornwall versus Devon. So here we are ladies and gentle pigs, let's see what Devon brings to the table. Must say it's promising so far, of course all the best roads can be ruined by a caravan or a Tesco's Arctic or a Land Rover. Oh, 
lovely. so far this is looking good for Devon lovely set of fans Oh, some lovely sweeping bends. Beautiful piece of road. Just imagine getting all Valentino Rossi on it. Barbara. Oh, it's pretty here, isn't it? So we are dropping down into Lynmouth. I only actually know two things about Lynmouth. One was there was, there was a massive flood. You don't quote me on this, I'm not exactly sure about the date, but I think it was August 1952, when uh, an already sodden Exmoor came under the assault of a massive rainstorm. And it all ran down through the village of Lynmouth, causing destruction. And sadly, I think it took about 30 lives. And another thing I know about Lynmouth is it has a cliff railway from Victorian times. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you. I don't suppose the GoPro picks it up, but this is steep. Yeah, look at the hairpin. Come on, mate, get your knee down. Go 
Oh, there's a few around, isn't there? What a beautiful place. Well, there's the Cliff Railway, which I think the construction began in 1887, I think, and it's water powered. The two cars are connected by a cable with pulleys at each end and the top one gets filled with water until it outweighs the bottom one and then when it gets to the bottom it drains its water which comes from the I think it's called Westlin River and the bed was all carved out with hand tools picks and shovels the good old days eh Anyway, can't stand around here all day. We got roads to discover. Incredibly pretty little place. people's minehead now it's a great ride there's some lovely sweepers some nice hairpins nice bit of elevation
don't think we can really let Devon have this one anyway. Just wouldn't be right. Right, I'm going to head back the way I came, because I can. And I'm going to put the camera on time lapse, or time warp, and probably just ride it until the battery runs dead. So I'll take this opportunity to say, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care. Ciao for now, and bye bye.